Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to get the full Zora armor set here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to get the full set, we actually need to complete three different quests and we're going to start with the quest to get the Zora armor. Now, in case you don't know where to start this quest, you want to head over to the far eastern side of the map over here by the Mai Fall Court. It's actually right next to the Ahenna Shrine. So if you have this shrine, you can use it as a fast travel point. And once you get over here, you just want to work your way down the stairs and speak with Yona. Yona is going to be the one to tell you to go get some ancient fish. Keep in mind, you'll need to complete the sludge covered statue main story quest to be able to even do this. So, uh, but this is where you're going to start it. Go ahead and speak with her. And once you do, we'll go to our next location. So our next location is going to be the Great Sky Island. And we're going to go to the northwestern side where this pond is. I've put a star here to make it a little easier to see the location. It'll be the one with the bridge, but we're currently standing on the bridge now. All you want to do is look in the water on both sides. You'll see these yellow fish. We want to grab one of these yellow fish. Now, I'd recommend jumping on this side because it's smaller. They don't have, have as far to run, but we've got one right here next to the bridge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in and grab this guy. And you guys can see he immediately takes off. If you get close to him, though, you can press A like that and you want to get that ancient fish. Once we have it, we're going to head back to where we were. So now we're back on the eastern side of the map over at the Ahenna Shrine next to the Maifok Court. And once you're here, we're just going to run over here and speak with Yona. And we're going to give her the ancient fish and she's going to be able to restore the armor. We'll run right back over here to her and start the dialogue with her. And once you have the option, just click here you go and give her the fish. And after a little bit more dialogue, she's going to give you a little cutscene and you will have completed the quest. And you'll be rewarded with the Zora armor. Now that you've got the armor, we're now going to do the quest to get the helm. Now keep in mind, you'll want to have the water temple done before going for this helm. I think there's an alternate way that we'll talk about here in a second. But make your way over to Zora's domain and up at the top where the king is, if you go just to the left of him, there's going to be two people over here having a conversation. We want to speak with them. They're going to give us a bunch of dialogue about finding the Zora Helm. And once they're finished speaking, that's what's going to start the side quest. You'll see we talk to them. The never ending lecture starts. And now we're going to fast travel over to the shrine east of us, the Ahenna Shrine. If you don't have this, just work your way over here right next to the Maifa Court. We just want to be in this area and you'll see why. So when we teleport here, you'll see the giant waterfall that's falling out of the sky. We want to work our way up that. Now you'll need the Zora armor to get up there. I don't believe there's any alternate method. I don't think you can use recall. I don't know if it'll go high enough to get up there. You can try it. Uh, someone let me know in the comments if you've tried it. I've, I believe I've tried it and it didn't work. So you need to make sure you have the armor before you attempt this. But once you get up top, we're gonna climb the waterfall and we're gonna fly to the left side. So you'll see here, we've got two boxes in the back. If you wanna fly to those boxes. And once we get back here, we can then fly across. And right here on the side is going to be an entrance. So we can go in this little entrance here and in the back is going to be uh, the Zora helm in this chest. Now, if this is closed for you and there's sludge all over it, you can actually use an arrow as well as splash fruit to clear up that sludge. If you're trying to do this early, I did not do that. I've been told by a lot of players that that was a possibility if you're trying to get the helm early, but that's how you complete the quest. Now all we need to do is the quest to get the Greaves. Now to start this side quest, we're going to head to the far eastern side of the map over here by Zora's Domain. And we're going to be right about in the middle. You will also need to make sure you have completed the Water Temple before going for this side quest, as I don't believe you're actually even able to start it until you complete the Water Temple. But once you get over here, we're going to speak with Yona. She's going to be located up at the top right before you go up the stairs to the throne. We can go ahead and speak with her. She's going to give us a bunch of dialogue about finding the Zora Greaves. And once she's finished giving you the dialogue, you'll then be able to start the quest. And once you're finished speaking with Yona, we're going to head southeast over here to the East Reservoir Lake. And once you get over here, there'll be a massive whirlpool in the middle. You can't really miss it, but we're going to jump inside of that. So we'll go ahead and jump in the whirlpool. It doesn't matter where you land. Either way, you're going to get pulled under. And once we make it under, we're going to go up the staircase that's right here in front of us, and we're going to have to cross some more water. Now, you can jump up on this ledge here and pretty much make it across the entire way by flying. But if you don't make it, you can just jump on the wooden platforms to regain your stamina as you swim across. And once you get up, we're just going to follow this staircase all the way to the bottom. You guys will see it'll lead into this massive area down here. But we're going to fly behind this giant structure in front of us. So as soon as you round this corner, you'll see we have a giant hole in the ground. We're going to drop down into this hole. And once you get to the bottom, we'll be able to come out. And we're going to work our way to the waterfall. Now, you're going to have a boss that's hanging out in this area. But if you get behind the waterfall, you'll be good. And once you get behind the waterfall here, you'll have a chest that you can open up. Inside will be the Zora Greaves. And you will have completed the side quest. But if you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.